You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and it's that time of year again. We are in full Bruin season at the end of the season into playoffs, but we have our local Bruins alumni and our law enforcement officials doing what's called the Black and Blues Hockey. I have Peter Crone here. Peter, welcome. Nice to see you. And nice thank to you see for you. Having us. Um, you've been doing this for quite a while, Peter. This will be the 26th year with the Bruins alumni. Wow, 26 years, and yeah. I've been here for 23 of them. I think we've had right, you on yeah. about 20 times. So the event that's happening at the end of April, just, you know, tail end of hockey season, right, yeah. when it's all over, people are thinking spring, thinking summer, but they're still thinking hockey. Tell us what you're trying to accomplish with the Black and Blues. Well, it's, uh, our volunteers on it, made up for a lot of police officers for the most part. Anytime we travel anywhere or that people play for a tournament such as this game, Every player pays money. There's no money goes to profits uh, to uh, for the players or to anybody else. It's all goes right to charity. Uh, we've traveled to Russia twice. We've traveled to uh, a couple of different other areas. And at all times, we pick up the expense ourselves. And the only thing we pay for out of these games will be the ice time and maybe the officials. So all the other money goes right to charity. Many, many, many charities. We've given probably close to... Uh, Right around a half a million dollars, plus or minus a few thousand over the years. Now, the, it's, it's the best buy in town, from what I can gather. $5 tickets, $10 yeah. tickets. Um, you, like you said, nothing goes to the people. It right. all goes to charity. Goes to and charity. you got to think about that when you're giving in general with other charities that a yeah. lot of times, I know you and I have had the conversations about even yeah. people that raise money yeah. in the name of police and fire. A lot of times those are professional fundraisers. They take all the money. This is nothing like that. This yeah. is all purely lot, going to charity. Yeah. We're a lot smaller. There's no overhead. There's no salaries given out. Uh, we don't have to pay for renting rooms or phone lines and such. It's a lot of work effort on our part, and we do it. We enjoy doing it, and it's a good thing. Now, you're a player yourself, right? I am, yes. So who, who are some of the uh, all-stars from the Bruins that are coming? And, and, and I'm sure there are some all-stars from the law yeah. enforcement folks, too. There's a lot of all-stars and a lot of guys that have been here for a long time. But uh, we're going to have uh, Rick Middleton will be there. I expect to see uh, possibly Pi. I'm not sure. But they're going to have uh, Andy Brickley slated to come by. We never who can make it at the last minute. There's different changes, but Featherstone, uh, Sweeney, yeah, it's just a instrumental. Now I know that Bobby O won't be there, and uh, Ray Bork won't be, and Johnny Busick, who's my favorite, got me started. Uh, he won't be down. I don't think so. But you get plenty there, and yeah. you kick it all off with a familiar face and a familiar yeah, voice. We bring Rene Rancourt in. I think we were the first team that played the alumni that brought Rene down. I guess now it's catching on. And he's just such a people person. He'll put on a mini show out in the audience before the doors open up. Makes everybody feel comfortable and at, at ease and at home. Uh, he's a fantastic fella. That's uh, a wonderful thing. And he does the Canadian National Anthem Canadian and the American, U.S. National yes. Anthem. So. Uh, just in case uh, in this uh, political climate, in this day and age, if you want to start singing another national anthem, it's right there, correct? It's there for you, yeah. Um, so, Peter, tell me why you do what you do. You, you, you love this. I do. I, uh, I play hockey. I started in Brockton High School hockey in 58. I graduated in 61 from the high school downtown. We had a great time. I was never much of a star there, and I'm not much of a star here. But I just enjoyed it. It's something that we can do. It gives back to the communities, different areas, uh, a lot of places, a lot of things you don't ever think of, the people who receive the charitable donations. We've made a couple of donations up in Canada. We've made a couple over to Russia. Uh, but it all goes to charity. No one gets any profits out of it whatsoever. And I just enjoy it. And I found out that if, I'm probably better off to keep skating than to stop. But uh, I'm getting up there now. Uh, both knees are now acting up. Mm -hmm. And I'm older than all of the alumni, so. But I think people just enjoy it because, it, uh, yeah. you know, they enjoy it for the sport of it. It's yeah. not, uh, it's it's a good not, time. not a, a, a true win or lose. It's yeah. more of a, uh, I would say, a rivalry, um, you know, just a fun rivalry, correct? Well, I think the secret you have to understand is if you try to beat the Bruins, they're going to turn it up a notch. Mm -hmm. And then they may not come back and visit next year. So I could say that we've let them win, but we don't, we don't let them win. They win anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a Rick Cobain, who's the referee, called the Clown Referee. He puts on a spectacular show for the kids, and frequently I watch him because it's more fun. Uh, the game should be a sport. It should be a fun time. It's enjoyable, and uh, 
I'm 74 and still skating, so uh, wow. give or take a few. I may fall down and a few guys have pushed me forward, but I play on defense. I've been skating three days a week. I've cut down to two days a week now, and uh, it's good just to keep going and keep doing it. Now, you also, uh, you, again, solely volunteers that do this. Yeah. You put together a booklet for yes. that, yeah. do you not? Are you still looking for people to be sponsors in the booklet, and, uh, and how year, would they yeah. get, get a hold of you? This year, the, uh, the, the book has already been printed. Okay. If anyone wants to make a donation or print it out, they can contact me. My cell phone is 508-326-8601. They were more than happy to include them in it. And again, this is where the majority of our funds are raised. We do some sales at the tickets at the front door, but uh, this is where most of the money comes from is the ad booklet. Now, we didn't say that it's at AZF. AZF Arena. Arena. Okay, right at Brockton High School. Brockton so anybody High. that's a Brockton High hockey yeah. fan or just a yeah. hockey fan, it's a, it's a great venue. It is. And the puck drops at 5.30. Doors open at 5. And uh, we look forward to seeing the people there. We always have a pretty good crowd shows up for us. A lot of familiar faces show up. And we always enjoy the new people coming in. It's just a, a nice time for everybody. And there will be an autograph session. I always stand in line by myself, but no one wants my autographs. They go right to the Bruins. So. They go right to the Bruins. Um, I, so I would say your age range for the, for the players on the law enforcement, what, you, you said you're, you're, you're a senior. Okay, oh, so yeah. what, what's the youngest law enforcement? We've uh, got a couple of uh, fellows in the early 30s, mm -hmm. and they go right through. We've got uh, seven state police officers ranging from ranks of captains to lieutenants and sergeants down to the troopers. And we've got uh, a new Bedford sergeant. I recruited him in the police academy when I used to lecture there, right out of the academy. He's been with me about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we've got a couple of Rainham offices and some Bro Brockton offices, and there's two or three civilians moving in there. So it's, it's just a nice time, a good friendship. We started out in 1983 as incorporated the Attorney General as the Black and Blue Brockton Police Charitable Hockey Association. And then we just changed the name to the Black and Blue Police Hockey because of... Uh, so many troopers coming in and so many other officers coming in. So it's not just the city of Brockton, although we represent mostly in Brockton, and most of the ads come from the Brockton area. And there are, there's a lot of charity hockey games. I know where, where, yep. where my guys are excited because this not only is Hockey Month with the Bruins, obviously, yeah. now, but um, uh, Alex Bazanson has the Hug Foundation, and yep. they're doing one a couple of weeks before yeah. yours. But it just, it just keeps hockey it keeps alive going, yeah. Into, yeah. The, into spring. I skate all year, long, all year round myself. Uh, I remember when we first started out, we had a couple of rinks in the area. One was down in Weymouth. And now that we were in the ponds practicing with old Carl McPherson out of the Brockton High School, and uh, now they've become sophisticated rinks, perfect ice, everything you could want. Well, we're glad to support it. Uh, we are going to get some video there, but it's much better to go. It is. Okay, it's much better to go. Yep. The date is uh, Sunday, April 30th. Doors open at 5. Puck drops at 5.30, you'll hear Renee Roncourt with the um, National Anthem, and you'll see a great group of law enforcement people and Bruins alumni. So make sure you go out. Peter's always a pleasure. All right, and there'll be, uh, the Bruins will be doing autographs and signing stuff if somebody wants to bring their items in. And, and if they want your autograph, they can get in line. Yeah, I can give them a ticket or something maybe, uh, or just a blank piece of paper. Sounds good. <laughs> You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.